Welcome to Origin Stories, your place for comic book geeks, gurus, and just plain old fans. Okay, let's talk some new Marvel news thanks to our friendly neighborhood Spider-Man, Tom Holland. So it looks like Kevin Feige's new Spidey is being a little bit of a rebellious teen off-screen lately. So he was recently doing an interview with Uprocks.com. Now, this is all pretty much run-of-the-mill type stuff, until they got along asking him about one of my favorite things ever, the Marvel one-shots. Now, if you remember, they killed these off a few years ago, and I, for one, have wanted them to come back for quite a long time. And it looks like Tom might have just confirmed that that's actually happening. Now, these were quite a bit of fun, and they really helped fill the space during Phase 1 when they were pretty prominent. Early on, they were pretty much all dominated by Clark Gregg, and everything they did there seemed to be pure gold. We haven't seen them for quite a while. The last one we got was 2014 with All Hail to the King, which in my opinion helped correct a couple of the issues with Iron Man 3. I still want a magical ring tote Mandarin. Come on, Robert. Holland had this to say to Uproxx. I want to do a short. That's what I want to do. I want to do a 20-minute short with me and Paul Rudd. When he was reminded they used to do those, he replied, Yeah, I think they're planning on doing it again. And then he tried to walk back and said, I, I probably just spoiled a big spoiler. Kevin Feige is going to be furious. But then they went on to call it the Bug Brothers, which I would be excited to see the Bug Brothers. If they brought these back, what would you like to see in future one-shots? Personally, I'd like to see Namor. I think that would be pretty cool. I really wouldn't mind seeing Moon Knight. That is, if he's not picked up by Netflix. And if I'm a betting man, I'm betting it's this guy. Wog. That's right. Howard the Duck. Watch. Wait. And see that I'm right here. So let's continue with some more news from our new Spidey. So Holland, during a recent news junket, and this was reported by a couple sources, had some interesting things to say about the other web slinger in the Marvel Universe, Miles Morales. Now, before we go on further, let's put a spoiler warning out there for people who haven't seen the film yet. So, As you know, it was revealed that Danny Glover's character is actually Aaron Davis, a.k.a. The Prowler. Now, if you follow comics, you may know this already. If not, Aaron Davis in the Ultimate Universe is the uncle to Miles Morales. And Miles becomes Spider-Man after Peter dies fighting the Green Goblin. And he really does carry the title on pretty nicely, and I love his costume. So, anyway... Now that we have that out of the way, end spoiler. When asked about Morales, Holland had this to say, that would be something I would be really up for doing. It's something that I would really, really hope to happen. I think Miles Morales is a great character. I think it would be fantastic to have an actor of color playing a superhero on screen. And I just think it's going to be something very cool and something very exciting for this universe. So, what do you think? I love the idea that they seed Miles early in the series so they can develop him over several films. After Holland has donned the mask for five or six or maybe a few more films, it really might be the right time for a change. Or it's possible to go full Spider-Verse or Team Spider since we have a potential Silk already in the mix. Or at least we've been teased with it. But that's for another time. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you liked it, make sure you smack the like button below and don't forget to subscribe and ring that silly little bell so you actually get updates when new videos are posted. Peace.